Hello world, I'm Brancliffe, and this is a guide, but not so much on helping you do something specific or get better at something, but to explain the use and importance of the game's freezing mechanic. You might be thinking, as in the weapon attribute? And as it turns out, no, although that is important too, being the best dungeon attribute, that's not what this video is about, but they're both called freezing, which is kinda dumb. What do I mean by freezing then? Well, there's a separate kind of freezing debuff that completely shuts down an enemy. They're stuck in place, can't move, can't act, can't really do anything at all. This means that they can't harm you at all, unless they have one of those wonky sustained hitboxes, but that's not something you have to worry about too often. Freezing things has some additional uses. A frozen thing can't mana break or be knocked down. Additionally, this lets you skip boss HP thresholds. Many bosses have something that kicks in when their HP dips below a certain amount. One of the most iconic examples of this is Scar, who casts a black hole that gives everyone the suck halfway through his boss fight. It's really slow and can force you to use a mana break if you're too close to him when it starts. However, instead of dealing with that, you can simply freeze him, then kill him before he is unfrozen, and you'll have skipped it. However, if you don't kill him before the unfreeze, he'll perform the action anyway. Freezing things is great. They'll have a hard time hurting you, makes them a sitting duck for your team to wail on, prevents mana breaks, and lets you skip boss phases. All that's left to talk about is where you can get it from, so here's the full list. Freezing arrow and blizzard shower freeze for 3 seconds by default and 5 seconds when awakened. With the killing blow 1 trait, this is buffed to 3.9 seconds by default and 6.5 seconds when awakened. G18C Freezing Grenade only freezes for 1 second, or 1 and a half with Killing Blow 1, but when you use the skill, you do load 5 of them. Foxfire freezes for 3 seconds, 4 when enhanced, and if you're playing the game with the Korean voices, you're forced to hear one of the dumbest voice clips in the entire game. Campero Booster freezes for 2 seconds, but the more MP you put behind it, the longer you can hold it out. This means that while you're freezing the enemy, you have to count on the rest of the party to take down whatever you're hitting with it. And what even is Pampero anyway? Well, a quick search on my search engine of choice reveals that it's actually an alcoholic beverage. Unfortunately, upon scrolling down, it turns out that it's a term to refer to cold winds. So unfortunately, my rose is not cracking open a cold one at the boys. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this skill, but it freezes for 3 seconds, and 5 when it's enhanced. Sats Aurora freezes for 5 seconds when a blue eye is used, and a water orb freezes for 4 seconds. Now, there are some other sources of freezing, but they can't really be controlled by the player well, and some of them are actually meant to be used against players. For example, the mermaid enemies in Hamel like to do this to you, and they'll do it to you again when they die. If Birth is the third boss in the Gate of Darkness, his ice laser can do this to you as well, given these days Gate of Darkness tends to end before you get that far, but well, whatever. Some pets can apparently cause freezing as well, but since you can't control when your pet attacks, you're going to have a hard time timing it properly, and it'll probably activate before you need it to. So yeah, that's all I have to say about freezing. Uh, well, actually, apparently according to Elwiki, uh, you can shorten the duration of being frozen with water resistance? I didn't know that. Huh, well, alright, now that's everything I need to say about freezing. I'm Brancliffe. Goodbye, everyone.